Jun Lee. Um, I came to the United States March 5th, 2000. I was born in Korea, um, 1974. Um, I was in Korea for three years. Um, and then from the age of three to uh, the age of like 18 until I graduated high school, I was in Indonesia. And then I went to Yonsei University and the internship. So I was in Korea for seven years. And then I got here in the year 2000. I mostly came for my love. Um, we met when I was an intern. He was a medical student. We fell in love. We did a long distance relationship for one year and we got married in a year and I moved right away. And he didn't speak any Korean. I already spoke English. I had actually already taken um, USMLE step one and step two. That's a United States medical licensing exam. I was a bit of a nerd, so I took it as a practice exam. And when I met him, my scores were already all in and, you know, I could apply. So when we fell in love, I applied. I got into a residency, so it was easy for me to relocate for him and for my career as well. I think of myself as somebody who can live anywhere. So if you dropped me in Africa, I'll be fine. <laughs> if you dropped me in Italy, I'll be happy. You know, I think I could pretty much assimilate and live in any circumstances and any culture. Um, the international school helped a lot. There was a lot of exposure to different kinds of culture. And it, I think it's also who I am. Like when I came to the United States, the transition was pretty smooth, pretty easy. The hardest thing I had experienced was um, like any couple, like when our marriage wasn't doing so well, I think that was the hardest thing um, I went through. Mm -hmm. Part of that had to do is a little bit of a cultural difference. Like Bernie's like really American. <laughs> the core of who Bernie is inside and out is just very American value. Uh, whereas my value system is very deeply rooted in Korean culture. So when marriage doesn't work out, as a Korean person, you work it out. Like you, there's no option, there's no exit. Um, as an American person, you look for an exit because you're unhappy. And we went through a difficult period uh, for like a good two and a half years. I think when our marriage was sort of shaken because that was the reason why I moved, I think that was very difficult for me because I came to America not chasing American dream. I came to America not to be richer or better doctor or anything like that. I just came to America because I loved him. I think we fell out of love at some point. So for us to sort of work back the love in, it took a lot of time. Um, so I what was the though, secret? I think patience and just sort of like tolerance for each other and just sort of working out the differences. It was a lot of hard work. It was like marriage therapy, <laughs> hypnotherapy, um, a lot of like crying nights. Um, but at the crux of it, I think there was love for each other, a friendship for each other enough to sort of stick it out. My parents are super supportive. So I actually haven't seen a more supportive parent. In the 18 years I've been here, my mom has been here like 36 times. So every time I had my kid, every time I was sick, every time I had a peep, she would fly over and support me and be here for me. And my father and I have like an everyday calling relationship. So I call him like almost daily. My parents are very conservative, uh, very Republican, very Christian, like very, very Korean and conservative in, in, in their value system. Uh, but I landed in the Bronx. I, my residency program was a residency program in social medicine. So it was all about serving the underserved and, you know, having progressive values and being patient advocates. And, you know, it was something more than medicine. It was definitely social movement, social justice, um, grassroots community projects. So um, I think a lot of my values also come from then. I'm at a point in my career, I really feel like I need to choose. So I have two practices going on. I've been quite successful in both practices. Um, I've been doing it for 10 years and I kind of feel like I need to really focus on one thing. And recently I kind of had sort of like a mission or a calling of wanting to sort of like end obesity in America. Obesity is, um, an epidemic in a, in a rich country, it's an epidemic for the poor. A lot of it is like food system, but also healthcare system. 
so the rich people can pay like medical weight loss program and come lose their weight and the poor people just don't know how to and the food that they are encountering the food that they can af you know afford to pay for are very fattening and you know i find that kind of sad in the richest country of the world um, so i want to do something about it so i formed like a non for profit wanting to sort of go back to the Bronx and wherever I am, I want to do meaningful work and I want to have an impact and I want to leave a legacy in which that my children can be proud of. You know, as much as I expect a lot out of them, you know, I also expect a lot out of myself. You know, I don't want to end up being uh, some community doctor who like existed in Scarsdale and in, in her own corner, like seeing, you know, I have 5,000 patients that I take care of, but my impact is 5,000 patients. Like if I'm out to end obesity in America, my impact is America. How you exist in this world, what kind of person you are and what kind of um, values that you live your life with becomes your children. Yeah. And that's the legacy you leave, you leave with your children. My name is Hyunjin Lee. This is my Korean American story. Mm -hmm.